Hi, 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 guys. I am Komsaran Peculiar and welcome back to C++ Code Answers, the platform for all your C++ code solutions. This is the problem we will be working on today. You found an exciting summer job for 5 weeks. It pays, say, $15.50 per hour. Suppose that the total tax you pay on your summer job income is 14%. After paying the taxes, you spend 10% of your net income to buy new clothes and other accessories for the next school year, and 1% to buy school supplies. After buying clothes and school supplies, you use 25% of the remaining money to buy savings bonds. For each dollar you spend to buy savings bonds, your parents spend $0.50 to buy additional savings bonds for you. Write a program that prompts the user to enter the pay rate for an hour and the number of hours you worked each week. The program then outputs the following. Your income before and after taxes from your summer job, the money you spend on clothes and other accessories, the money you spend on school supplies, the money you spend to buy savings bonds, and finally, the money your parents spend to buy additional savings bonds for you. So we'll open up our IDE and get starting on our program. Because we'll be working with money, which will be double variables, we'll need to format our values. As such, we'll use hashtag include Iomanib header. The program prompts the user to enter the pay rate and the hours worked. So we'll declare the pay rate as double since it's money and there's cents in it. And we'll declare the hours as integer. Now on to what to output. The program output the income before and after text. So we'll declare them both as a double variables, net income and gross income. We'll also output money spent on clothes and accessories and school supplies and the money spent on savings bonds and finally the money spent by the parents on additional savings bonds. So we'll pump the user for input of both the pay rate and the hours worked. Now let's do the assignment of what's expected on output, starting off with the gross income. The gross income is just the hours worked multiplied by pay rate. Now the net income. Which is according to the problem question, a subtraction of 14% tax. So it's all the money the gross income minus the 14 percent of the money which is gross multiplied by 0 0.14 now the money spent on accessories and clothes which is just 10 percent of the net income
and the money spent on school supplies, which is just 1% of the net income. And now the savings bonds, which is 25% of the remaining money. Because we're working with double, we can't use the remainder operator to get the remaining money. So we'll subtract the used money from the net income. And we'll multiply it by 25% since it's only 25% of the remaining money used. Now the additional savings, $0.50 was spent on each dollar of the savings bonds. So we'll need to convert the double savings to integer so we can get the dollars used. And then we'll get the additional savings bonds on each dollar and not on the cents. And we're done assigning. So now let's work on the output. As we mentioned before that since we're working with money, we'll be formatting to two decimal places. We'll use the function set precision to set to decimal places and we'll have it called with fixed because we need the values after the decimal point we will do and we'll do that for all of the output Put the money spent on clothes and accessories. school supplies yeah. and the money spent to buy savings bonds spend on the additional savings bonds
that's all the expected output. So we'll save our file and compile it. Oh, there's an error on line 17, the space between the cross and income, that's not how we declared it. And now no errors. Enter the hourly pay rate and the hours worked. And there. Let's put in tabs so we have a nicer output, backslash and a T. Perfect. That's all for me today guys. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss out on any content that we upload on this channel. And send in your problem codes to this email address. Thank you very much. See you on the next video.